want to take a look at the quotient rule for derivatives. Here I have y is equal to u divided by v, where u and v are functions of x. So the quotient rule tells us that the derivative of y with respect to x is going to be v times du dx minus u times dv dx, all divided by v squared. Now, if you want to know why this rule is true, again, you have to go back to the book and look at the derivation of this rule in the book. Then that will tell you why it's true. But once we know it's true, then all we need to be able to do is apply it. So before I can do that, though, I have to have it memorized. So it's the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all divided by the bottom squared. So u, I mean v du dx minus u dv dx all divided by v squared. Let's try a problem. I have h of x equal x plus 1 over x minus 1. That's the quotient of two functions of x, so I'll apply my quotient rule. The derivative, h prime of x, will be equal to the bottom, x minus 1, times the derivative of the top, just 1, minus the top, x plus 1, times the derivative of the bottom, again, just 1, all divided by x minus 1, that denominator, squared. So that's the application of the quotient rule. That's the correct derivative for this function of x right here. Now all that's left to do is simplify that. So let's see what we can do. x minus 1 times 1, just x minus 1, minus x plus 1 times 1, so minus x minus 1, all divided by x minus 1, quantity squared. What do we have? x subtract x is 0, negative 1 plus negative 1, I end up with negative 2 divided by x minus 1 quantity squared. So there's my derivative of this function right here, simplified like that. And there's a little bit better picture where you can see what it is, negative 2 over x minus 1 quantity squared. Let's try another problem. All right, for this problem, f of x is x to the fifth over x cubed minus 2, a quotient of two functions of x. So to find the derivative, we'll use the quotient rule. So I'm going to write this, f prime of x is, okay, let's apply our quotient rule, bottom, x cubed minus 2, derivative of the top, 5x to the fourth, minus the top, x to the fifth, times derivative of the bottom, 3x squared, minus 0, which is 3x squared, all divided by that denominator on the bottom, x cubed minus 2, quantity squared. All right, so that's the derivative. I have applied the quotient rule right here, and I have my derivative. The rest is just algebra. I have to simplify this. So what do we have here? x cubed times 5x to the fourth, so I'm going to get uh, 5x to the seventh, negative 2 times 5x to the fourth, minus 10x to the fourth, x to the fifth times 3x squared, so I'll have minus 3x to the seventh, all divided by x cubed minus 2 quantity squared. So what do I have? 5x to the 7th minus 3x to the um, 7th, so I have 2x to the 7th minus 10x to the 4th, all divided by x cubed minus 2 quantity squared, and I'm going to leave it like that because I don't see any factors common to the numerator and denominator, so that's simple enough. 2x to the 7th minus 10x to the 4th, all divided by x cubed minus 2 quantity squared. And that's a look at the quotient rule for derivatives.